Hi, my name is Tessa Cothran, and this is my video review of the story Girl by Jamaica Kincaid for World Literature 2. Jamaica was born Elaine Cynthia Potter Richardson on the small island of Antigua. She was raised by poor, ordinary banana and citrus fruit farmers, fishermen, carpenters, and Obia women. Now, Obia is a form of West Indian voodoo and was practiced by Kincaid's mother and grandmother. Kincaid's familiarity with the supernatural was later incorporated into her writing. At the age of 17, she moved to New York City and worked as a nanny and later as a freelance writer for many magazines and newspapers. The story Girl was originally written in 1978 and it was her first piece of fiction that was published. Now in this story, it's written from the viewpoint of the mother who has given her daughter instructions on the rules and rights of womanhood. Many of these instructions include references to folk medicine and obia. The mother tells her daughter about how to deal with a mean husband, how to have an abortion, and how to keep house. The mother constantly stresses the importance of not behaving like a slut. The young girl in the story is at a crossroads between childhood and adulthood, for she has reached puberty, she has begun menstruating, but yet she still plays childhood games like marbles. The daughter's two thoughts of response to the instructions are quietly interwoven in the writing, as if the young girl just thought of the questions but couldn't get a word in since her mom was talking so much. Some of the things I liked and disliked about this story. I liked the fact that the mother was being a parent. I liked the fact that the mother was at least trying to prepare her daughter for life, trying to prepare her for adulthood. Even if her words were harsh, even if she was going about it the wrong way, at least she was trying to do her job as a parent, which is more than some parents do in today's modern world. I did dislike how the mom seems convinced that her daughter is bound to be a slut. It's like she doesn't believe in her own guidance, that she doesn't believe in her daughter's ability to obey her guidance. She thinks that no matter what she has taught her daughter, that her daughter is still going to either look or behave like a slut. And like I said, her words do seem very harsh. It's as if she really thinks her daughter is no good or will amount to nothing. And I think today we have that same problem in society is too often parents speak words like this to their children and the children just think, well, my mom thinks I'm going to be a slut, so I might as well be one. Or if my dad thinks I'm going to be an alcoholic, I might as well be one. And too often the kids actually turn into the very words that their parents warned them against as a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, the audience for the story, Girl, I believe it would be any lover of contemporary fiction, possibly readers with a background from Antigua, or a background of family history of Obia practice, and any lover of literature. Thank you.